Hello guys and welcome to another video of Carolina EDC Reviews and today you see at the title of the video we're going to look at a rifle mount light from the guys at Ozar Armament. Ozar Armament uh, is a small company that's been kind of you know going around coming up with some uh, very affordable products and expensive and I think they're great quality. They do have a scope, uh, red dots and other accessories for the AR platform and those guys was nice enough to send this light here for your rifle mount ARs or whatever you want to put it in very nice aluminum light with the you know mount and everything and all that so this is the way it comes in the box as you can see so this is going to be the rail mounted led firearm light and it's the tfl1r so let's read some specs power for cree xml u2 led up to 600 lumens so 600 lumens uh, it does have four modes, high, medium, low, and stroke, uh, standard uh, Picatinny mount, and a standard and remote switch included, which is pretty cool. All right, so uh, again, up to 600, mount, uh, 600 lumens, water and shot resistant, uh, genuine Cree XML U2 LED, four modes, again, high, medium, low, stroke, uh, remote switch pressure on and off functionality, and yeah, that's pretty much it, and it's, uh, you know, Four light modes are easy to control with the interchangeable tail switch. Uh, lightweight and tough aluminum alloy construction, easy mount to standard Picatinny rails. Uh, so yeah, it has four levels, stroke and everything. It does come with batteries, two uh, CR123A, and again, uh, 600 lumens, 300 meter throw, one hour uh, battery life. Uh, it's water resistant and one and 1.2 meters uh, drop resistant as well. So, all right. I have played a little bit with this light again I'll put some pictures somewhere up here as you can see inside my home because I don't have nowhere to really go outside and test this out so you got a thumb drive here or screwdriver uh, tighten the, the uh, mount into it everything's uh, built all together uh, you can change the battery on it again and you have the tail cap switch here with the uh, pressure switch here which is pretty cool again you got a pressure switch here with the bigger taller button it's going to be the uh, on light and then you got your pressure switch pad here where you can momentarily where you can uh, press whenever you need it just turn on and off when you need it uh, there is a button right here and it does activate the strobe feature and again with the say the cap you can adjust the functionality of the flashlight what I really like is uh, it's real nice to have the mount already in there so you don't have to worry about that uh, you can take it on off with your hands now you can get it close to this to the rail depending on what kind of mount you have I just have a standard offset um, m-lock type rail on it uh, the pressure pad does have a sticky side on it you can stick it to there I just have a ranger belt around it and that's pretty much it now uh, as far as durability and everything, I'm not going to torture test or anything like that, but I'm going to pour some water in it just to make sure it stays on. We're going to shoot with it as well at our own position, make sure it stays on, doesn't cut off on the recoil, and it's able to withstand the muscle device up here as well. See how close I got it right there. Let's see how well it does. So, enough talking. Let's go over here and shoot and see how well it does. So, stay tuned. All right, guys. We got the light on here. I got a bottle of water. We're going to pour some water on it, just a little bit on it. I don't want to waste all my water. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to pour some water just to make sure it is water resistant like it says. You know. There you go. Get in front of there. There you go. That's pretty good. And the light's still on. Let's load up the magazine, shoot a few rounds through it again due to ammunition. Things shooting portions could be a little bit short, but here we go. Let's uh, get the cap on. Review coming on this outfit soon, so stay tuned for that.
Light still on. Stroke. There we go. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, holds pretty well. Again, time will tell. Again, to ammunition. I wish I could test that even more further. But as you can see, the light's still on on the recoil. Uh, the lens is not messed up or anything. Everything still functions the way it's supposed to be. Again, very nice light and everything. So let's stop by my vehicle and give my final opinion. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Again, short video here just to bring you another cool product. Very affordable and expensive. I think it's a great budget light that you can get right now from the guys at Ozo Armament. Now, they don't have this one on Amazon. I could not find it on Amazon. But if you go to their uh, website, directly to the website, do have it there. And they're running $49.99 right now. They were $79.99. So now it's the time to get one of these um, depending on when this video is released. That's the last time I checked and that was during uh, Memorial Weekend. So all right again the tfl1r great light i really like it it's very slim um, i hope they do come out with another one with a smaller version again this is for long rifles um, and it does have the uh, mount already cnc with and everything it's aluminum and pretty nice finish on it and everything now the one thing i wish that they do change is this bungee looking telephone cord thing they have out here i wish they make it a little bit shorter uh depending you know some people like to mount this on their grip on the back here which i really don't recommend doing that so um i'd rather have it in the front here in the rail so you can have it uh you know if you don't need to turn it on and off you have it right there so your grip we have to grip it at all times and have it activated so all right guys that's pretty much it as you can see it does function again time will tell how durable they are but for the money i think you get 600 lumens if i'm not mistaken again yeah 600 lumens of light which is plenty enough for your uh home defense rifle pistol whatever you got uh as far as uh rifle caliber goes so uh if you have a shotgun you can always mount this on a shotgun as well or anything whatever you have as far as m lock or picatinny rail uh but you do have to get a mount if you have an m lock uh to mount this so take that in consideration they do have accessories as well so check those guys out they do have flip up sides uh iron sides um scopes red dots if i'm not mistaken uh they do have some um you know different accessories that you can very affordable from them so guys that's pretty much it thanks to ozar armament for sending the light for me to check it out again check those guys out pretty affordable and expensive if you're on a budget that'd be the way to go 600 lumens nice everything you need to mount this on your rifle and ready to rock and roll so guys if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to my channel hit the join button on there if you'd like to donate just a small amount every month not obligated to do so but the best way also to help me to check the links out below use all the coupon codes if you're not using the coupon codes you're missing out on discount uh, amount for different companies and everything that also help the channel as well so guys that's pretty much it again follow me on instagram if you're not following me you're missing out on giveaways every month at least once a month i have a giveaway as well upcoming videos and products that i'll be showing on here on the channel so guys Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button, subscribe, turn the notification bells on, and as usual, see you in the next one. Goodbye.